Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and I am finally, finally able to open this puppy up and show you what is inside. Now, you know, I could just do it on the camera here and just like crack it open now, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get into a different position, if you'll pardon the image, where you can actually see things properly and I'm going to have to rip off another rather much larger YouTuber. I'm sorry, Ashens. But enough waffling, let's get right into this thing. Boom. Okay, that's enough of the Ashens references. Yes, let's unbox this sucker. I don't want to wait any longer because I've been putting it off. I've only had a tiny, teeny little peek inside, and that was just, just basically to keep me calm whilst I prepare to do the actual unboxing. So let's get cracking right into it. Ah, so, eh. Just pop this open. Ooh, start. I didn't notice that before. I did sort of just, it was really just a little peek. So we got some information on here, something about the, uh, the plug adapter and where it goes. Uh, hold button to detach. Yes, really basic stuff. Let's forget all that for now. And let's have a look at this. Wowzers trousers. Well, we've got the Joy-Cons. We've got the blue one here, of course. And we've got the red one here. They really are very neon. I don't know whether that's coming up on camera, but they are very neon indeed. Far more so than I originally uh, really appreciated because it was in rather low lighting. So that is the Joy-Cons there. And this is, I believe, eh, the unit itself. And it is Quite nice and light actually and it does just look at first glance like a big chunky tablet it has to be said so let's uh in fact now let's have a look at what else is in there before we look at the main article let's take this little ah, sleeve out from here that is now useless what else we got here we've got oh i know what that's gonna be pop that to one side we've got an instruction manual important information mm, very important ah what have we got in here come on out you come ah i know what this is gonna be as well let's have a look at this why not let's have a look this is the dock, yes. Oh, wow, it's got a nice matte feel to it as well. Almost, it almost feels rubberized, but I know it's not. If that makes any sense at all, probably not. You got a little door on the back as well, just, yeah, that just pops open like that. You got AC adapter, USB, HDMI out, all the lovely things that you would expect from a dock. Anyway, let's move on to what else we've got in here. This is, well, it appears to be the HDMI cable, and indeed it is. Let's have a look at this sucker. Yeah, that is indeed an HDMI cable. Um, I don't really know what else to say about that. It says Nintendo on it, which is nice, um, but apart from that, pretty pretty straightforward. And now this is a big chunky monkey that you can expect if you live in the United Kingdom, because this is a UK plug, yes, and that is the USB-C on the end there, which is rather nice. It says Nintendo on it. It's a fairly weighty thing, actually. I wonder what the output is. I'm gonna have a quick look at that. Okay, now I am not the best source on this kind of thing because I am not an electrical engineer, but it appears to be outputting five volts at one and a half amps and 15 volts at 2.6 amps. 2.6 amps, quite a lot, especially over USB. Is that a new standard for USB-C? I don't know. But let's uh, have a look at the last few items in here. And I believe they're both the same thing. Yes, the little Joy-Con slidey grippy things with the nice little buttons on top, which just basically push down the SL and SR buttons as you expect, and a nice little metal finish in there. Well, I say finish, it actually is metal, that's very important. And the other one, it's it's the same thing. Almost entirely the same thing. Right, let's have a look at the Joy-Con now, shall we? That is very nice. It, oh, it really does feel nice in the hand. And I just wonder, yeah, I could I could get used to that. I, you know, I used it very briefly on its side like this to uh, see what it was like for the quick, super quick multiplayer where you just hold it on its side. And yeah, I could get, I could, I could easily see myself doing that for a bit. Not, not for too long, I have to say. And I reckon that with one of these, which I think actually they slide on that way by the looks of it. Yes, indeedy. That is even better. And I think if you got one of those big wheels, I say big wheels, they're really quite small. Um, I think it would be even more comfortable. And yeah, there is not a lot of travel on that stick though. It has to be said, if you look there, can you see that? There's not a huge amount of travel. I mean, to be honest, it's enough. And if you really want to go pro, you can use the pro controller as the name suggests. Anyway, let's move on to the other Joy-Con. This one is the other way round, of course. But, hey, I could even hold it the other way round. And um, yeah, it's basically the same thing, only it's slightly over this way. You won't know all this stuff, so let's have a look at the unit itself. Oh, it says Nintendo Switch on the back. That must mean it's a Nintendo Switch. It is indeed just that. And uh, is there any sort of screen protector on there? I'm not sure, it looks like there could be, because there are some sort of little marks and things like that. But that could be from packaging, I don't know. And that is, that is the whole thing. That is, that's not a lot, is it? I mean, that's really, that's diddy, isn't it? Okay, now let's stop beating around the bush. We've got to get some Joy-Cons on this thing and see what it looks like. Totally assembled. So we just slide those on there. Ooh, nice little click there. And uh, that one just slides on there like that. 
And that is the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, this is the neon version. You can also get J uh, gray, not J. And uh, those, these Joy-Cons, they are not moving. There is not, they are not budging. They rotate ever, every, ever so slightly left and right. But apart from that, there is no movement there at all. If you hold on to this, like shake it up and down, it's not going to fall out. You really need to use these, uh, these removing things on the side, which, oh. They require a little bit of force, which, um, to be honest, I would far prefer over them accidentally falling out of my hands and sliding off the Switch unit itself. So yes, I'm going to slide those back on. They slide on more easily than they slide off, it has to be said, but well, look at that. You know what? Should we power it on? I haven't done this yet. I'm not... oh. Hello, you can see my face even. While well, we're just waiting for it to power up. Oh, <laughs> oh, that is nice. That's a nice little intro. English, Francais, Deutsch, Espanol, Italiano, and uh, other ones. I honestly don't know how to pronounce <laughs> I can't do an even vaguely appropriate accent for any of those languages, I'm afraid. But yes, so that is the Nintendo Switch. Let's have a quick look at the, uh, the game cartridge slot. That's uh, it's a little bit flexible there. That it, it nice slides down and it's got a nice cap. Motion on there. Whoa, I didn't mean to press a button there. Let's uh, let's go back. I'm just gonna, well, I'm just gonna leave it like that. You know, I'm gonna turn it off because that's time. That's something for another video, you know? Is that gonna power it off? I don't think it is. Come on now. Holding it down. Nope. Not turning off. Doesn't want to turn off. Okay. Well, uh, let's just have a quick look at the kickstand. Look at me and my sweaty hands. I've already got all sorts of rubbish all over the back. Eh. Look at that little kickstand there. And that just sits up. Like that. Is that still in shot? It is not. I'll tell you what, let's fold this box down. And, ah. Oh, kickstand's gone back in. It's on the other side, isn't it? Yes, it is. Just put that there. And that is the Nintendo Switch on its kickstand. What a lovely little thing. But of course, that's not all we've got to look at. In fact, I'm going to put that to one side because I don't see I'm going to be able to turn it off very easily. Let's have a look at the last piece of the puzzle, which I should have looked at beforehand. This is the Joy-Con, what is it called? The Joy-Con grip, that's it. I tell you what, I'm going to have to get the Joy-Cons off the main device. Once again, I'm going to do it on camera. Ah, I'm pressing buttons, I'm not intending to. Oh, ah, ah, get those off. Pop that to one side. Let's slide these in, see how nicely this goes. Oh. Nice. Now I believe, there we are, oh yeah, it's nice. It's a nice little compact controller. It's not too big. Um, again, if you want big, go for the Pro Controller. That's pretty obvious, but it's nice. It's, it's nice and and obviously it's still connected. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's get the kickstand up. Pop that there. And indeed, yeah, still in full control, even when they're docked in here. Haven't had to set that up at all. That is out of the box which is pretty impressive. Okay, last thing I want to do is I want to get this, the Nintendo Switch dock, and I'm going to slide this into the dock. Let's have a quick look inside the dock, actually, because I've heard that there are buttons that depress in here. Is that the case? I'm gonna have to get something to try and poke it. I don't even know whether you can see that. I don't think you can, but uh, I can tell you that, yes, indeed, there is some sort of panel in there that depresses, and that means that the USB-C port in there, not the port, the jack of course, is not exposed all the time. So that just slides in like that. And of course it's not going to turn the screen off because there's no HDMI going in there so we can't tell anything that's happening but it does, well it doesn't know, it's just going to stay on. But yeah, that is the Nintendo Switch unboxing. I've been waiting for this for so, so long because, well, this has been here at my house but uh, I haven't been able to uh, do anything with it because I've been on holiday and you can still hear the switch going. That's a lot of good fun. One last thing, one very last thing. Now I know, you know, most people will know about this and they're sort of wondering why am I doing it? And it's just because, well, why not? You know, I've got the switch here, so I might as well show you. I don't think this even needs, nope, it doesn't, doesn't need to be. It's wirelessly connected. See those little lights there? They indicate that they are player one and I can just control it like this. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be doing this, but uh, it's nice to have that option. And that's something you can do out of the box. No setup, nothing like that. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna set it up. I'm gonna do that on another video. Good Lord, you're probably gonna think this video is never gonna end, but I have just noticed something else. As I slid this Joy-Con back on, well, actually it was the blue one. Listen to this. Oh, it does the little switch sound when you slide it back on. Let's hear that again, just to make sure we can definitely hear it so that you aren't left in the dark. You listening? Okay. Oh, 
It really is something marvellous. really is something special. I'm so, so annoyed that I'm not going to be able to keep this one because I've got to send it to my colleague. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you slide a Joy-Con onto either side of that subscribe button. I'm pretty sure I've said that one already, but you know what? I'm going to do it again because it was a good one. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Yes, we're going to unbox this thing. It would help if I put it the right way around. What was it? It was the right way around. Ignore everything I just said.